Northwestern's historic season is over. Sure, there's disappointment. But still plenty of pride now that the team has finally played in the tournament. Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. And I'm Mai Martinez. Thank you for joining us. Northwestern fell to Gonzaga, a number one seed. CBS 2's Ryan Baker reports from Salt Lake City, where the team did not end with, or the season did not end without a bit of controversy. Officials here in Salt Lake City weren't in love with the Cats' Cinderella story. A bad call by the refs is partly to blame for Northwestern's fairy tale run in the NCAA tournament coming to an abrupt end after a 79-73 loss to top-seeded Gonzaga in the second round. After scratching and clawing back from a 22-point deficit, it appeared that the Wildcats were within three after just under five minutes left. But the referees did not make an obvious goaltending call, even though Gonzaga's Zach Collins' arm was through the rim trying to block Derek Pardon's shot, a clear violation. After the game, the NCAA issued a statement admitting that the officiating crew made a mistake and that Northwestern should have been awarded two points. The apology did not make a season-ending loss any easier to swallow for the Cats. It's a tough call. I mean, you, you can't. Was it a big call? Absolutely. And in my heart, I feel like if we get that bucket, I think we win because the momentum we were on, the crowd was behind us, would have cut it to three. But these guys are human beings. Like I said, they're, they're the officials, they make mistakes. I mean, I'm not going to criticize anybody, but, you know, like I said, we've been against the odds all year. You know, you can't expect anything. You shouldn't you know, expect anything. So, you know, we just had to play through it. There's sadness. That it's over. There's, I mean, you, you got to be proud of this group just because of what we, of what we accomplished. Um, love for everyone in this locker room. This group will never be together again, but you know, history was made. You can't you can't take it away from this group. After ending a 78 year NCAA tournament drought, a much improved Northwestern basketball program is now motivated to not only make it back to March Madness next year, but to be an annual participant in the big dance. The fight in Illini, who've been shut out of the NCAA tournament the past four years, is hoping that the hire of Brad Underwood as their new head basketball coach will reverse their fortunes. Underwood arrived in Champaign today after agreeing to a reported six-year, $18 million deal to replace John Gross. He's leaving Oklahoma State after just one season. His former team was eliminated from the tourney by Michigan yesterday. Underwood's up-tempo offense should excite Illini fans. I've been told by several sources that this is a home run hire. We'll have more on that as well as reaction from Northwestern on a disappointing conclusion to their record-setting season. In Salt Lake City, Ryan Baker, CBS2 News.